After two hard-fought victories, the Patriots face an early morning matchup against UCF for the regional championship. Just another game. All right, they're gonna have UCF's coach gonna be screaming. Everybody's gonna be up. Just another game. All right, take it to them. We got the intensity. All right, but it's all about balance. Don't get yourself so geared up that you forget to think. All right, don't get yourself so worried about scoring and goals and offense you forget to back check and play D. All right. Just game. One, one, two, boys. Come right. on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. go. Here we go. Lensings, Mercer to take the draw, and then you're off right away. Harry, Harry. Here we go. Mason on three. One, two, three. Mason. Let's, Let's go, go boys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Going in, like I knew I didn't want to play UCF. I was like, I don't want to play these guys again. So it kind of sucked when we had to play them. I didn't have very much respect for him going into the first game just because we beat him 9 3 at the beginning of the season. It was kind of a cakewalk. With UCF having lost their first game of the double elimination tournament, it would give Mason two chances to beat a team already entering their fifth game. Despite UCF playing in its fifth game, the Knights are far from giving in to the Patriots in what becomes a back and forth, fast paced shootout. I don't know, it's just like running uphill. Um, every time it kind of leveled out, they'd score a goal, they'd score another goal, and you just had to get right back in it. We weren't panicking because we, we've been there before, but it, it's not a good feeling. You feel like the clock's against you. Patriots take advantage of the power play, bringing the score to within one. Moments later, UCF receives an unsportsmanlike call that gives Mason a man advantage as time begins to run out. Tied at six after regulation, the teams enter sudden death overtime. We were just, we were gassed. We were a little tired and kind of sitting back on our heels when, I mean, usually during the game we were behind and so we'd have to really attack and fight back to get that tying goal. But in overtime we were like, oh, we need to play defensive. And we, uh, we were definitely too defensive and didn't push up enough, so. I just remember him taking it down, dangling through like two people, just going in untouched to Jordan, just backhand top shelf. Uh, just, it really, really stung. All right, hey, it stinks, all right? Gotta wipe it. Don't let this one game beat you twice, all right? Don't let the one game beat you twice. Good teams have bad memories. All right, it's gone, it's done. New game, 11.30. We'll be, we'll be all right, all right, we'll be all right. 
Hey, this team, you guys have gone farther than just about any recent team. All right, we haven't won anything, ever. I told you beginning of this tournament, you've got to take advantage of your opportunities. All right, they won a bit worse, boys. They got into losers. They lost the first game and have won every game since. We're not fucking losing this next game. Here we go, Fuck boys. No. One, two, three, Mason! Alright, they're gonna take a fucking hard. The team was pretty tired, and um, it, was, it was really hard because I knew they were fired up and they had all the momentum coming in, and I knew their coach was gonna prepare them real well, and we were defeated. We, we didn't have a good attitude coming in. We were negative just because um, we had lost. I know a lot of the guys were really hoping that we would win the next game and really just being positive, but at the same time, you, that thought's still in your mind that you just lost to a team. Now you gotta come turn around and play them again. Sometimes fate's got a way of working out, all right? That first Sunday we were here, we lost to Tampa 3-2, all right? We turned around, we played UCF, we beat them 9-3. Gentlemen, we're right back here. We're on a Sunday, we lost our first game by one goal. Come back, we play UCF, and we beat them again. Right, here we go, boys. Let's go, boys. Roll Come on. on. Roll strong. You gotta take it. You gotta want it. Here we go. One, two, three. Mason! Mason, Harry, Mercy, After losing the first time and knowing we had to play UCF again in an hour, it was... It was almost devastating. It was almost as if we just lost the whole thing. You know, to think that we went through this and we gotta start all over again and hopefully try to come out on top. It was, it was tough. Jacob bad penalties, we're on the on pole, and we haven't scored a goal in three periods now. It doesn't always have to be a perfect snipe off the crossbar and down. It doesn't always have to be a perfect in. It doesn't always have to be an inline hockey dangle move that's gonna make sports set. All right? Listen, against this chippy team, all right, you're going to have to get some ugly goals. You're gonna have to shoot the puck on the net, crash the net, and get a rebound. You want the regional championship? That's what you gotta do, you gotta take it. Alright, you gotta take the shot, you gotta take the man, you gotta get that rebound, you gotta get it to that loose spot. You gotta take it. Alright, let's kill off this 40 seconds, and let's go get him, boys. Let's go get him, boys. Here we go, here we go, come on, Mason. One, two, three, Mason! Mason. Mason. It's always tough to play from behind. Um, you know, when you're on top, you just, you're skating faster, you don't lose your breath. When you're behind, it seems like there's a, you know, a weight on your shoulders. Um, so it makes it a little tougher, but when you want it that bad, you just kind of have to, you know, you're gonna have to suck it up and get it done. Patriots begin to claw their way back in yet another close game with the Knights. That's just not typical of our style. We normally get up ahead on teams and then try to hold on. Um, and coming from behind is just generally something that we weren't accustomed to doing this year. The game looks to be headed to overtime again when UCF scores with less than a minute remaining. Mike and Drew were passing the puck back and forth on the point and I was just yelling shoot for about 15 seconds just screaming shoot, 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 seeing that clock wind down.
and all of a sudden he just put it on and it was just a mad scramble in front and I was lucky to just be back door and the puck squirted it out and I just put it home and then just absolute celebration. It was awesome. Um, just that feeling knowing that when all else is just lost and then all of a sudden with three seconds left you're going to be able to play in overtime and hopefully win regionals. Alright, last overtime, we were trying not to lose. Alright? We weren't going for the win, we're going for the win. Alright? We're going for it here. Alright? You mean first or off the draw? Alright? Hey, it didn't happen. You're, you're gonna come back off and Mike's gonna go out. Right? You're gonna play offense and you're gonna get in front of the net. Okay? Attempting to score in the overtime, the Patriots give up a breakaway opportunity. See the guy come down, you think, all right, this is everything right here, and you second guess yourself whatever move you're about to make. So you have to push it out of your mind. And so then after I made that, I was really hoping that that would be like the push to get my team really excited and get them to score that goal. Shortly after, miscommunication leads to a breakdown. Those are tough losses, especially to be on the rink for both of them. Um, the last one was especially tough because we were all putting our hearts into it. Um, I was sitting there barely able to skate you know, to Jordan just to tell him it was a good game and to watch them celebrating right in front of us is tough. Well, I'm hesitant to breathe. All the hatred and all of the greed. There's no point in trying to Watching UC, uh, UCF celebrate was, uh, that one hurt because uh, that should have been us. I mean, I've done that before where we'll lose a championship game and like travel or something and we'll, we'll watch the championship team celebrate but I mean it wasn't the same just watching that team celebrate when it should have been us. I mean, that wouldn't hurt really bad, so. Oh, yeah, obviously a disappointing loss. All right, stop what you're doing. Gentlemen, we gotta get better. Every facet of the game. Bunch of freshmen and sophomores, okay? Gotta get better at conditioning. All right, that team was playing their sixth game. I don't know how many periods with double overtimes. We have to practice like we want to play against top competition. We got to shoot. We got to recruit. We can't get ourselves going where we lose one or two guys because Mike sleeps in or Donovan gets hurt. And we probably catch ourselves shorthanded. UCF had a big deeper bench to get to go, which means you're going to have to show up through. Hey, stop what you're doing. You're going to have to show up to prospects to this. Obviously, this year we're going Basically one shot short. Literally one shot short. Two, two game, last two games in a row. One shot short. The eight guys in here is what we had. There's nobody to help us. We're not UCF. We don't have a full functional B team that we can just roll guys up on. We miss one or two guys, we're dead. Because I'll be honest, second and third periods. They look like the team in the winner's bracket. We look like the team that have been playing a ton of games. We cannot rely on Jordan Pohl to have the best save percentage in the country. we got to stop the shots before they go, come to them. The breakaway was huge. Yeah, that was... You play it out of your mind, buddy. Play it out of your mind. All right, boys. Bring it in. Make sense for the final time. Here we go. Final time of the season. One, two, three, Mason! Mason.